Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about hair loss and hair growth. So, let's start with the first part which is like hair loss and how I dealt with it. Long story short, um, it all started last year in February. I noticed that my hair was falling literally like chunks. It was awful, like I have no idea, it was really bad. And here's a picture to prove it. When I washed my hair, I would just blow dry, like I wouldn't brush it, I wouldn't touch it. But that is the amount of hair that would be like hanging from, you know, like my head. I don't know how to properly explain that. But it would be like loose hair and I would just, you know, like lightly do this and all would be in my hand and I felt so desperate and hopeless about it that I tried to find someone that could clear the situation for me. First I went to two doctors and they couldn't tell me anything about it. They tested me and I had vitamin D deficiency so I was taking supplements and I was working on that but I didn't notice any change whatsoever. You know I started eating really right and drinking a lot of water but nothing was working. I just reached a point where I tried to find someone that specialized in hair. So I went to a trichologist and those are the doctors that do like hair implants, you know, that sort of thing. And I did a full, like a really complete um, blood test to try to find anything wrong. I was tested for a lot of things including autoimmune diseases, anything whatsoever and before I returned to the doctor to get like a prescription and check what I had for sure I noticed that my hair stopped falling like it was normal and I was like what? that makes no sense I took so many medications before it like I took biotin and a lot of products I tried um, shampoos, changing my hair routine, not blow drying, not using any heat and nothing helped until the moment I was about to go back to the doctor and I don't know what happened, what exactly changed but apparently um, it was like six months after it started it just stopped by itself I think that everything that I was doing was helping, you know even before I was like fully diagnosed I didn't have anything serious, it was like just deficiencies in a lot of things. I was very like um, curious to know what it really caused it and I have no idea. I research about the subject a lot and I think that if you notice that your hair starts falling, it's really important just to try, you know, like the easy things, like changing your hair care routine. I start using the Dove um, Hair Fall Rescue, this is amazing, it's the best shampoo ever. I don't care about the conditioner, I just like the shampoo, it's really good. Even if you don't have hair loss, it just gives a very nice volume on top because my hair is so thick and it has so much volume on the bottom that the top is like really flat. Try to avoid heat, like any type of heat. Don't blow dry your hair, try to be really natural, use like hair masks, try a lot of things, especially products, you know. Uh, meant for hair loss, those are supposed to help you. After you leave the shower, do not brush your hair. Let it dry before you try to untangle because you will break it. You're probably gonna lose more hair than you would normally. Another point that I think it's really like crucial to consider is changing your diet. For instance, if you're not very into like vegetables, fruits and really healthy things, you might want to consider, you know, like adding that to your routine and also drinking a lot of water. That's what helps me a lot. I drink so much water. You have no idea if none of the things I mentioned help you. You might want to check with um, a specialist because you could have something a bit more serious or even like um, vitamins deficiency. Now moving on to hair growth. When I started losing hair, I cut my hair really short, like for me that's short, I cut two palms like this and it was like here. So this was my hair when I cut it. I managed to grow one palm in how many months? I would say like four months, less than four months. I'm gonna share with you guys a few tips that I learned over the years to help me grow my hair really fast and just, you know, try to keep it healthy. You know, when you lose most of your hair, it's kind of hard to get it to be healthy and beautiful, but we can try. First thing, going back to the first part of the video, 
water, you need that, nutrition, everyone knows that, you need that, okay? Let's just establish that. I try to, you know, take really good care of my hair when it comes to products, to change my hair care routine very often so my hair doesn't get like used to it. I think the most important thing is everyone grows their hair. Like some people say, oh my hair is not growing, my hair never grows. That's probably because you cut it very often. And people say you should cut it like every three months. I'm not down for that, like no. So now it's the time that if you're a hairdresser, you're probably gonna want to stop me. I cut my hair like twice a year and for me it's okay. I just try to look if I don't have dead ends or anything like that. Something else that I think is just really crucial is to trust your hairdresser. It's quite hard, let's be honest. Look, I've tried many hairstylists and most of them butcher my hair. Make sure they like low care. Some people are all down for cutting it, making it really short. I don't know why. It just happens and you need to be really aware of that. Use oils on your hair. I apply it like from the ears down and I use like argan oil. It doesn't matter the brand. I think it gives the most beautiful glow. Hair masks are always very amazing to help your hair. Just to restore everything that was taken away by the heat. And of course, if you're going to blow dry your hair, definitely use a heat protector spray. That's gonna help you not get very damaged hair. If you don't have the patience to wait and try, you know, more natural things and just take really good care, you could also um, go for, you know, like medication, like vitamins and things that are meant for the hair. There are a lot of them in the markets right now and I tried a few, you know, when I lost my hair. No, not when I lost my hair, but when I was having hair loss. Um, they didn't help. You know, for some people they work, for others not so much. So it's a matter of you trying and exploring and checking it out, doing some research. There's no way you're gonna wake up with your hair four inches longer in one day. Like, it takes time. It's not gonna take a year, but it does take time and you have to realize that. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, if it was helpful in some way, give a big thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!